What's going on YouTube? This is iTalk. I just simultaneously whipped a nay nay here. And in today's video, we have a brand new video. So we got the news yesterday that there is going to be a mounted turret coming soon to Fortnite, which means this week, most likely. And I just got to say, what the hell? <laughs> like, seriously, why are we getting so many new things? Like every week we get new items, new weapons and stuff like that. I understand it keeps the game fresh, but who asked for this? I never asked for this. Right, like who thought that this was a good idea? In a time where we're in this really annoying spray and pray meta, why don't we just throw a mounted turret in the game, right? Like I think this is one of the most confusing decisions that Epic Games has done uh for for in terms of items like this i think this might be even more controversial than them like vaulting the drum gun and then vaulting the bounce pads like so i think this is a bad idea right i don't see this being beneficial whatsoever especially when everyone is so tired of the spray and pray and all that so i want to go back to one of my old videos that i, I made before which was called uh is epic games releasing too many game updates and Honestly, this just kind of proves my point that yes, they are putting out too many updates because it shifts the game too much. The meta gets changed every week, even though it do it's not very big or anything. But you know, when you take guns in and out of the game, you know, you're, you're forced to play with different game styles and they can do whatever they want on a whim. So the fact that they're putting in a mounted turret in the game when we already are annoyed with the spray and pray and we have so many guns that work with the spray and pray, why not add another one? I, I don't like this change whatsoever. Or no, I don't like this idea whatsoever. I think this is a terrible idea. And honestly, I see this thing being vaulted in like a week. Or, or another SMG or something like that vaulted in like a week after this thing's been out. I don't get it. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. And I just want to propose my idea that I put in that last video. Add a poll system, make it so we can interact with you guys through a poll and say, hey, what do you think about this? Should this be nerfed? Should this be buffed? And then if majority vote stands, go with the majority vote. Not everything has to be, oh, we feel like vaulting this, so we're just going to vault this. There, I want there to be some sort of poll system. It would be so easy. Put it in the main menu of Fortnite Battle Royale, open the poll and say, hey, we feel this weapon is overperforming or underperforming. What do you think we should do about it? Do you think we should vault it? Do you think we should nerf it? Do you think we should buff it? Anything. Because, you know, they, they go to Reddit for their answers, right? But Reddit isn't everybody. Everybody that plays the game right now that is currently playing the video game is playing the game on the game. So in the game, put a poll system and say, hey, listen, the community seems to think that this is overpowered or they want something to change. What would you like to see? And give us a poll. In old school RuneScape, they have a polling system and they do a poll basically every two weeks, I believe. And they say, hey, we think this weapon's underperforming. Do you think it should be buffed? Yes, no, maybe. And they go by 75% majority vote. So if they vote 75% of something to happen, it happens. So why not have it for this game? Because I'm getting kind of frustrated to see this game just throwing everything at the game. Throwing everything to see what sticks. They need to calm down a little bit. I said this about the skin problem video. They are just... They're putting out too much content they need to slow it down we won't get bored of the game if you limit your updates to once every two weeks instead of one week we won't get bored of it so i wish they would just kind of calm down with the updates because this is starting to really get on my nerves a little bit there needs to be some sort of like leash on epic games because it they're just pushing out too much it's too much. They're going to burn themselves out. They're going to run out of ideas, even though I think they've kind of run out of ideas already. They need to slow it down. And that's all I'm saying. I really hope that they take this into account. The second thing I wanted to mention is I wanted to touch back on the ninja situation. Uh, I'm not going to mention this too much because I just want to let you guys know what's been going on. So IC5 actually made a response video. He was not banned. 
And again, I think how Ninja reacted to this whole thing was wrong. I just kind of wish he apologized to him or made a public statement about it because he didn't actually do that. He went on Twitter and he responded to those that said, oh, hey, he's done this before with proof, not actually proof, but of someone claiming that this is him saying this or doing this. And he responds to those people saying, oh my god, I was right. Like, that's not the correct way to go about it, dude. Because here's the thing, right? Even if he stream sniped, right? That still doesn't make it right to call him an idiot and to say that you will be permanently banned for doing that. Stream sniping isn't the worst thing in the world to do. Like, he's acting like stream sniping is something that no one does, and when they do it, they should all be banned. I don't approve of it. But it shouldn't get you permanently banned for. And I still stand by what I said. His reaction to the whole thing was very shitty. The whole fact that, yes, he was a little bit tipsy that night. Sure, whatever. You still said it. And you still did what you did. So I just wish he would own up to his actions and just be like, Hey guys, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say what I said. If he stream snipe me, he gets banned. If he didn't, then nothing happens to him. I'm sorry. That's all I want. Because people are memeing the shit out of this right now. And I am too. I think this is hilarious that you can get possibly banned for emoting on a famous streamer. Like, I'm legitimately scared to do anything anymore. Where's this other guy? Oh, you're right here. Oh. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Yeah, put that spray down! There. Oh my God. I don't even feel like playing the game half the time now because it's like, well, if I play the game, oh, well, then God forbid maybe ninja someone that I kill that's famous or ha that has a tw high Twitch following, I'll get banned or I'll get hate or something like that. I just think it's ridiculous. And I was trying to get an interview with IC5 and I got no response. That's totally okay. I'm not really going to uh, bug him too much about it. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's a video game. If you died by a stream sniper, it's not the end of the world. Nick A30 doesn't have a problem with it. Tfue doesn't have a problem with it, but for some whatever reason, you have a problem with it. If you've got the problem and no one else has the problem, maybe you're the problem. Maybe you need to see, hey, if it happens every once in a while, it's not the end of the world, okay? So that's all I'm saying. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, let me know with a like. I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on the bell just to get all my latest uploads. Comment down below. Are you sick and tired of seeing new items coming to the game every week? Because I, I'm not a fan of it at all. I think they really need to slow it down, like I said. And I do firmly believe that they need to stop vaulting things that we like and just ask us in a poll, say, hey... Would you like to see this go? Would you like to see this buffed? Would you like to see this nerfed? Because I just want them to try the poll system, if I'm being honest with you. I really just want it. Because it would just make so much sense to put it in there so you don't have to go on random Reddit posts and be like, Oh, well, this is a good idea. Like, I want there to be more communication with Epic Games. Like, we get a lot of it on Reddit. I, I will admit that, and that's great. But I want there to be even more. I want them to reach out to everyone that plays the game in the game. I want them to, sh like, just hey, say, hey, let's have a poll. What do you think about this? Did you enjoy the game you played? What's wrong with it? What is going on? I would love to just, I would just love for more communication, that's all. Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite. Join the Discord. If you would like to use me for support or creator, just use the words iTalkFortnite. No spaces. I think you can use actually capital letters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. See ya. He doesn't have shield. He doesn't actually have shield.